Thanks for joining, this is Movado, and I'm back here with another 7 Days to Die Blood Moon on the 7 Days to Debris multiplayer server. Uh, if you watched the day 51, I did make a few changes. Number one, I did add additional plating at the bottom there to make it a little bit thicker on both sides. Uh, they didn't go through or anything, but a few of them did pound on that wall. And then I upgraded this to a, to a hatch. And then last time I had dug out a hole all the way down to bedrock, and I went ahead and I put a hatch there as well. Uh, I also have my robotic turret right there to help with the vultures. Otherwise, I'm going to leave this door mostly unlocked. I don't know what my robotic drone is going to do. I've actually never used one before. So we'll see what uh, what happens with that. But otherwise, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to generally stay in this tunnel. And uh, as the guys come through, I'm just going to shoot them and kill them. Day 70 Blood Moon. There's only three other, four other people on the server. So I'm at game stage 129. This is in the wasteland, so it does boost it a little bit more. Um, looks like my lights came on. Here we go. Blood Moon started. I think. Yep, I hear him. Give you a, give you a shot. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yep, it's working for sure. And I'm just listening for any pounding on the walls, which I don't think you can hear on the stream. You know, I say that and I think they're down there pounding on it. I think that's the only risk with that drone, is it, uh, is it may get destroyed. Alright, come here, drone. Take that out of there. Okay. Time to start shooting, guys. You know, I think as long as you're making a sufficient amount of noise, they will path to you. And I am leaving that door open this time. Where, where last time, um, and they're pounding on the wall again. Maybe it's just some of them. Maybe they changed the aggro, the way they path. We'll see. I should just let him go. I'm just going to let him go. There's a lot of steel there for him to pound on. Yeah, I think if I let them go, they actually come back up here, because I I heard a guy pounding before for a second or two, and now I don't hear him anymore, so I'm, I, I'm pretty sure he came up. Yep. So far, so good. Yeah, this is uh, still working pretty well. <laughs> he saw the pile of zombies like, nope, 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 don't want to go in there. Don't want to, where else can I go? Nope. Yeah, I hear a guy hitting a wall. There he was. It was that guy. He's mad. He's like, I don't want to go in there. I'm going to hit your wall. I'm hitting your wall, guy. All right. All right, Charlie. That's it. He was coined named Charlie. Anyone who's a jerk is Charlie. Sorry if your name's Charlie, by the way. Nothing personal. All right, here we go. Let's kill some more zombies. 
I would actually, I wish I could scale up the difficulty, but this is multiplayer and I am playing with other people, so uh, eventually the timing will align and, and hopefully have uh, two other guys here as well, so this will get quite intense during those blood moons. I'll definitely get those on video. I mean, that wasn't. These are army, are armored military guys that they're just getting shredded before they even get to that pole. Look at that, dead. Now we will get the uh, irradiated guys, but he's dead. They're dead. And darts are insanely cheap too. Don't know if I said that before. Darts are insanely cheap relative to bullets. Easy to get. Clay and iron. I'll maybe use a thousand darts in this blood moon. Probably not even that much. Yeah, some loot bags in there, that'll be nice. That'll be nice, especially since this is the Wastelands. I think I I get the loot bonus for being in the Wastelands then, which is awesome. So that's another benefit of building in the Wastelands. Oh, a cop spit at me. I see it glowing. There he is. Yep, and I hear a guy pounding, so I'm just going to let him pound for a little bit. I think he'll eventually come up here. Yep, he's not there anymore. It must have been the guy, that green guy. I call him Luigi. He looks like Luigi. Then you got Nurse Jackie. Uh, Chumley. Um, I don't know. I don't have a name for her yet. Oh, this little blubbery guy, that's that's the guy from the Goonies. The, 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 uh, what's the guy's name? Hey, you guys! The, the brother. That's the big chubby guy. Forget his name. My punishment is not going to be the truffle shuffle, though. We'll call that, that the one Daisy. I don't know why. Just the one right there. That check. That's Daisy. Bikers, too many guys to name. What's going on out here? Dummies. I actually can't wait until this game stage starts getting scaled up so you start getting the radiated guys. Yeah, they only only pound on that wall for a little bit, and then they they, they move on. So that's nice. Oh, we got a guy coming in this side. Yeah, I love the M60. Dead.
Smeagol. That's Smeagol. There's a Daisy. Uh, the Redhead, we're going to call Peggy for the Bundies. Daisy. Haven't got a name for the military guy. Oh, I don't have one yet. It's just like shooting fish in a barrel. Except they're zombies and they're in a tunnel. Tunnel of Terror, dun dun dun. Alright, I hear a vulture, I see the vulture, let's see what my turret's gonna do about it. Haha! <laughs> that was well done on the turret. Oh, the turret just shot another one, look at that. Nice job, turret. The reason why I put the turret where I did is because I did not want the turret to shoot any of the zombies. I only wanted it to have line of sight to the vultures. So that's why it is where it is. Bye, Daisy. Chumley! Peggy. Sorry, Peggy. Screech all you want, vultures. <laughs> I'm used to those turrets being much louder. They must have gotten much quieter since uh, the last time I played in late alpha. There's no in late alpha eighteen or early nineteen. I think I did make the armor piercing stuff, which which makes no bit of difference on the vultures, but I do have that in it. Man. <laughs> Another vulture. Meagle coming back for his precious. Shut up, Chumley. Here's Smeagol. There he is. Couple of Peggies. Yeah, buddies. Yeah, this is way better. I, I think this is working much better with the plating there. And the last Blood Moon had a lot of cops. A lot of spitters. Not so much spitting happening this time.
Nice, Migo. Chumley. Go back to the pawn shop, buddy. Man, this is working pretty well just as a sniping point. You know, I've often thought about how to uh, how to redo this base, what improvements to make, and every time I build it, they're all a little bit different. But the concept is always the same. I have I have stairs coming up. I have one path. Didn't even know he's there. That when that path loops up, and it's this killing corridor, which is it's so simple to make. I just don't know what else I would do. I've killed him on foot before. No base. Did I clear the horde already? Nope, they're still coming. At least I saw a guy out there. Yep, here they come. Next phase of the horde. Uh, pig. Cops. Hoppers. Oh, there's a dog. Now, see, the dog The dog doesn't trip it. But the other guys do. So the dog ran in there, the other guys ran in there, and the dog got it in the crossfire. So that's one way that dogs will get hit in here. Otherwise, if a dog comes in by itself, uh, it actually will not trip anything, and it will not get shocked. I've also noticed the same thing with the... like the burned walker guys. Like the... They're all like black and red and look like they're completely charred skin. Those guys don't trip anything either. I've often thought about putting another extension to this to this base that almost has a filter that has blade traps in it. Because blade trap will hit, I'm pretty sure it'll hit anything. You know, and kind of how I would imagine it is after you get through this killing corridor, you have some blade traps right here. Or something like that. I expand it in a way that the next section they have to go through involves blade traps. That way if you get dogs or those other guys that come through, the blade trap will probably take care of them. But who knows, maybe that's my next build. Oh, another dead bird. I heard, I heard the click click. Yeah, see that dog was just jumping around, no problem. Dog. Dog. They don't trip anything. I'm sure it's to prevent completely AFK bases. I mean... Technically, I guess you could just add on to it. Like I said, put the dart. I'm going to probably do that at some point. Put some blade traps there. I'm trying to think how easy or hard that would be. Probably pretty simple, to be honest. 
Because even like demolishers and stuff, they never make it past the first bar. Or if they do, they jump up on the first bar and they die as they're crossing over, going into this, going to the second one. Yeah, this is working pretty sweet. Peggy? Neil, that's Neil. I don't know why, he just looks like a Neil. And another Neil. That is, uh, Al. And that's Tim Taylor. Tim the Tool Man. You know, one thing I haven't done is I haven't checked my repair levels yet. Would have, would have been a good thing to do. Yep. Yep, it was, uh... The electric fence is broken. Sorry, I was, I was thinking there for a second, checking the situation to make sure Dog didn't get through. Yeah, it was, once they get down to 49% health, they're 49 out of 200 hit points. It's like 25% health, they stop working, and they start not being effective, so that's what I was hearing. There's the bird. Dead. You're a quick little doggy. I think about those dogs. What do I want to do with them? Whoa. The added benefit of the dogs getting through is you always got to be in your toes. Military guy. Maybe I wasn't hitting him. I thought I was hitting him all those times, but apparently not. Your doggy. Yep, see the doggy got killed in the crossfire there. Yeah, I'm gonna let him pound. I hear him pounding down there again. They'll eventually come up. Tim. What is what is up with Tim? Did I clear it? I'm gonna take this wonderful rotten meat for some hobo stew. Look at that hobo stew. That might be it. That might be another blood moon cleared. Good amount of loot bags. Pretty good amount of loot bags for sure. 
I can come down here. I can get this one at least. Ooh. Yeah, I can get some of these from this side. Yeah, I don't want to get too close. This thing is deadly. It'll, it kill, it'll kill you in like a second. Literally one second, you'll be dead. Maybe two if you've got heavy armor and full plating and stuff. Yeah, I think that's it. Time to hop down. Powering up. All systems go. Inventory. Give you some of the healing stuff. I should just shut this down. I'm going to do that now that the Blood Moon's formally over. Turning this off too. Okay. There we go. I may die anyway, because sometimes it glitches out and it shocks me, but, you know, whatever. Cool. Good amount of loot here. Where's my drone? Full already. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm not going to die. <laughs> It's killed me way too many times. I always get nervous going in there. Well, not the best loot, honestly. Nothing special here. A little disappointing, to be honest. All right, let me go back and turn this base back on. I do have my um, jumping ability leveled up, parkour, uh, so I can jump up to that ladder. The other way to do it, and I didn't do it on last stream, is you can just set a bike down. Or whatever mode of vehicle you want. You can jump onto it, hit the ladder, and then pick up your bike. Otherwise, you can just set a block down. A lot of people use blocks, but since I have plating I've down there... Yep, right now. Well, I appreciate her notification. So it wasn't a complete surprise. Let me get this base back back on. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Charged by dogs. It's been a while since I've seen a pack of dogs. All right, um, I think that's going to do it. That takes care of this Blood Moon. Oh, what I was saying is I think the whole jumping ability, I think I, I mentioned, yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up here. Uh, day 70, Blood Moon in the books. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone.